the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 37. Leviticus 14 to 15. If one cannot afford, God who had a deep interest in human life told them in detail the procedure of confirming such diseases as leprosy and how to discharge and purify them. First point. Jesus kept the rules regarding skin disease according to a kingdom of priests. Leviticus chapter 14 connects to Matthew chapter 8. Leviticus chapter 14 covers how someone who has recovered from skin disease is to go back living in their community. These are the regulations for any diseased person at the time of their ceremonial cleansing when they are brought to the priest. The priest is to go outside the camp and examine them. If they have been healed of their defiling skin disease, Jesus, during his three-year public life, cures countless people. To most of them, he tells them not to tell anyone. However, after curing a person with skin disease, he tells them to go and show himself to the priest. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I'm willing, he said, be clean. Immediately, he was cleansed of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Until Jesus shouted, It is finished on the cross, the laws of a kingdom of priests remained very much valid. Second point. The message in Leviticus chapter 14 was known by many. The message contained in Leviticus chapter 14 was indeed good news to many people. Someone with skin disease was not to live as an outcast, but they were to go live again as part of their community after being cured. The Bible records many people who were cured from skin disease. God made Moses experience leprosy. Miriam also experienced leprosy and was cured after Moses' prayer. Naaman, a great commander of Aram, was also cured of leprosy. There was also a man with leprosy whom Jesus cured. Jesus, moreover, cured ten people with leprosy. Third point, God's blessing to those who were weak in society. God ensured that the weak within society had a way to live. God even recorded in detail how poor people were to make an offering. They were to make an offering with what they had in possession. Even those who were cured from skin disease were able to joyfully make an offering to God. If, however, they are poor and cannot afford this, they must take one male lamb as a guilt offering to be waived to make atonement for them, together with a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with olive oil for a grain offering, a log of oil, and two doves or two young pigeons such as they can afford one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. On the eighth day, they must bring them for their cleansing to the priest at the entrance to the tent of meeting before the Lord. Fourth point, why was the process so complicated? Was it for God or was it for humans? Leviticus chapter 14 records the regulations that were to be kept for someone who had a skin disease. The priest had to make the observation and keep to the nine different stages. If the priest permitted for the person to live at home after being inspected, then this was the law. These rules were not for God. 
but for human beings. Fifth point, the whole Bible, including Leviticus, is always good news. In the New Testament, Jesus refers a lot to Leviticus. Hence, it is important that we understand Leviticus in order to understand Jesus' teachings. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth disappear, not the smallest letter, not the least stroke of a pen will by any means disappear from the law, until everything is accomplished. Leviticus 24.20 is similar to Matthew 5.38-39. Leviticus 19.18 is similar to Matthew 5.43-44. Leviticus 19.16 is similar to Matthew 7.2. Leviticus 19.3 is similar to Mark 7.10. Leviticus 23.5 is similar to Luke 2.41. As such, Jesus' teaching is full of records in Leviticus. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biongo Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zoe is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.